There, I'm glad that didn't go down like that. <laughs> my name is Aaron Duchateau, and I'm here today to talk about my product, Lot Hopper. A little bit of background about myself. I used to co-own a little software company in downtown Eugene uh, with another guy named Jeff Miller called Genius Media Solutions, and I currently work at Palo Alto Software as a software engineer. Um, my team right now is me, and what I mean by that is I'm the lead UX guy, I'm the lead uh, business guy, I'm kind of the lead everything. I'm hoping to change that soon because it's a lot of work, especially with a full-time job. Um, so my website, Law Hopper, fundamentally is a user interface first approach to searching and reporting against tax law data. Uh, tax law data is kind of like one of the last big elephants in the room in terms of big data that's going on right now. And it's often characterized by uh, property bounds, which are the geospatial property bounds of tax lot, owner information, owner contact information, and other assessor data. So those in the audience that interact with this data know what I'm talking about. Where am I at? Um, it's not standardized at all, which is kind of crazy. So basically all the counties can maintain this uh, in any way they see fit. Um, and it's maintained at the county level. So part of what my, makes my system unique is that uh, I'm able to consume data from any county regardless of what they're doing on their end. I slurp it up and I can display it through a single UI. Uh, my potential customers are gonna be anyone using data like this in real estate, mortgage, refinance, property insurance, hunting, and the list kind of goes on because it really is sort of like the backbone of what makes up online property-based software applications. Um, diving right into competition, uh, we've got data wholesalers. Okay, so data wholesalers are these guys. I'm sorry it's so small, but basically what they're trying to do is aggregate a bunch of data and go out and say, hey, we're going to collect all this and we're going to sell it back to you. The problem with that is you're going to need a GIS team to maintain that da data, run queries against it, and get reporting back from it, which isn't going to be industry specific. We've got Google Earth here, and they recently added a parcel feature. Um, the problem with them is uh, the application itself is essentially a monolith, right? And again, no custom reporting, no custom querying, and isn't going to fit the specific needs of an industry. Zillow is Zillow, and what I mean by that is it's horrible, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's, it, uh, we can talk more about that later, but trust me, it's not going to work. And recently, I actually had a guy in the refinance space who was using Zillow to vet his lead list and he switched to using my software because he finds it to be more efficient. Uh, county resources here, these are basically gonna be like the websites, right? Where people who um, work at a, the county and wanna throw something online, these are like the GAS guys pretending to be web guys, are gonna kinda cobble together this sort of like hodgepodge solution or whatever to uh, present this data. And the problem is that as you bounce between county and county, it's not gonna be specific. Oh, I ran out of time, oh man. What I really could use help with, if you're going to let me cheat a little bit, is um, I'm going to try to start monetizing a beta really soon and with 100 users, and if you have any ideas of how to get me into an industry, into a beta, I'm going to have my laptop open over there, and I would love to give you a demo, and he's waving stop, and I have to stop. Thanks. Okay. <laughs>